Hi guys, so today I have a review video for you. Born Pretty Store very kindly sent me these items to review for you. So the ones that I chose were a liquid peel off tape, a colour changing polish and a stamping plate. So I believe this comes in different colours but I'm not sure if you can actually pick the colour you get or if they just give you a random one. To me the colour doesn't particularly matter, I'm more interested in that it does its job. So if you're into water marbling or if you do a lot of stamping, what you do is you apply this around your cuticle area here and it will dry and you'll be able to peel it off after you've done your stamping or your water marbling. So it aids the cleaning up. Also very good if you do a lot of stamping like I do. The next one that I chose as I said was a colour change polish so it's a purple with some gold glitter. I'm going to have to shake it up because as you can see the glitter has all settled currently to the bottom. This one is 005. And for the stamping plate I chose BP43 and it's got the four different patterns you can see there. So what I'll do first of all is I'll swatch this and I'll get some hot and cold water to let you see the effect and then I'll do some stamping and protect my nails with liquid tape and try that out. So stay tuned. So that's me done two coats of this colour which was 005. So this is the basically the cold colour, it's a very deep purple. The application was really good, this is just two coats and no top coat. So I've got two cups of water, one cold, one warm and we'll watch the colour change. I'm now just going to demo this stamping plate. Make sure you remove the blue film before you use your plate. I've cleaned it with acetone, I've also cleaned my scraper and I'm using the Squishy XL Stamper which I also got from Burn Pretty so I'll link that. I'm just going to stamp a design over this purple. I've just cleaned my stamper, scraper and plate once again with acetone and I'm going to try another design. Try and aim a little bit better than I did with this one. So before I stamp the last design on my pinky, I'm going to show you how this liquid tape works. So as you can see when I stamped this one, some of it did go into my skin, so I'd normally have to clean that up with acetone or polish remover. But if you've got liquid tape, you can apply this around your fingernail and it just protects the nail and it peels off at the end so you've got less clean up to do. I'm just going to try this one out for you. It almost feels like you're kind of painting a nail polish on your skin, but this will dry to be peel off. It's got quite a sweet smell to it also as well. So I'm going to let that dry just for a few minutes and then I'll come back and do the last stamping image. So as you can see it has peeled off there, 
a little bit bitty to start with. I believe that's because I've made it too thin. You want to be a bit more generous when you're applying this stuff so it peels off better. But it certainly will aid in the time it takes to clear up when you're doing you know, water marbling or designs with stamping like that. So certainly it is a good investment. So I do like it, I just think next time I try it, I will do it thicker so that it's much easier to peel off. Once again, I'd just like to say thank you very much to Born Pretty for sending me these items to review for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.